Remember that mobile game that got everyone hooked back in 2014? The game that was so popular, it had to be removed from the iOS store. Well, here it is in RTX. Today I'll be showing you the process of going from cube to a whole ass game. I opened up Unreal Engine 5 and made a new project. I created two new blueprints. One is the Flappy Pawn and the other is the platform the bird's going to fly on. Nice. I used a ready-made asset from the Unreal Marketplace called Platformer Stylized Cube World for the platform. And as you can see, the material works really well even if I extend the platform. This will also be helpful for creating other materials like the pipes. I changed the material to some realistic grass and dirt I got from Quixel Megascan Library and added collision boxes so that if the bird enters into the current platform, we create a new platform after and it becomes infinite procedural generation. Oh right, grass spawns randomly on platforms. I added a simple cube as a placeholder for the bird, enabled physics on that bad boy, then made the thing move slightly to the right every tick. Then if it hits anything, we call an event to kill it immediately. I then created them fine looking pipes using small cylinder and big cylinder. We added initial material to the pipes and now they look like someone draw lovely circles around the pipes with their app. Anyways, we'll leave it at that for now cause we got better things to do. I created the procedural pipes by spawning a random point within the platform area to serve as our gap. The pipes then adjust their scale to align with this gap through which our cute little birdie will fly into. We used the procedural background buildings pack found on the marketplace for our buildings, which as you can see looks amazing with the 3D parallax effect. And let's not forget how amazing it looks at night with the lights on. But since these buildings are so far away, I think we could do a little bit of trickery and make it only a single plane rather than a big ass 4D building. This could add some extra FPS. Before we continue, don't forget to check out my Patreon for the project files and join my Discord to engage in private game development discussions with me. Now let's get back to business. As for them cotton candy looking clouds you see in the background, I used Ultra Dynamic Sky's Sky Painter tool to draw it like the original Flappy Birds clouds behind the buildings. Wow! And voila, a line of clouds looking very fluffy. As for the scoring system, I downloaded a Flappy Bird looking font from a random website and made this basic widget that keeps track of your score. And when you die, you see this beautifully animated game over screen with a lovely coin based on your score. As you can see, we die here with an amazing score of four. Then we play another round of Mr. Flappy and we get one. Finally, it's finished. An actual pipe looking pipe. I searched on freesound.org for sound effects that could work well for the remake. And I feel like I found some pretty good ones. As for the background music, I found it on pixabay.com. And here's the sound effects playing in harmony. I got the trees from May Oak Forest on the marketplace, which included ready-made LODs so that Mr. Flappy can fly with more than 10 FPS in his pocket. What is that? What is that? Wait! It then we used the foliage mode and scattered trees and rocks all around the landscape. Key, I like it, Picasso. As for the bird, I started with a sphere and started shaping it to look birdy shape. And voila. The bird is ready. You got bamboozled, look at you. Next up were the wings, which they were a basic sphere and played around with the scale. Easy! The eyes were a bit different. We created a sphere again, shaped it, then cut it from the half. Then we scaled it and placed it properly. And boom! With little detailing, we have a magical eye. Now it's time to make the fur, or the feathers, whatever you want to call them. The process took a long time to get right. 
We groomed the hair and made it look 10 times better to go on with the shape of the body. The bird is finally ready to be exported to Unreal. A great success! And here we are, our feathered friend gets fur, and it's rotated, and we can't fix it for fuck. I'll find a way to fix it later, whatever. Let's work on the animations for now. I used the normal Unreal Engine sequence tool and made two animations there. One is for small idle flaps and one big flap when we make flappy jump. We fix the damn hair by importing it 90 degrees extra to the left where it looks wrong on Maya. But correct on this very Unreal Engine. Magic. I enable hair simulation from the groom settings and it magically starts reacting to Newton's laws. But of course, because it's Unreal Engine, it can't work from the first time, could it? The hare violently tries to escape from the skin of the bird every time we jump. After an hour of testing, I found that Project Stretch magically fixed it. And don't ask me why, it just does. And as you can see, it works beautifully now. This shit means something to me, man! Now we're at the final stages of the remake. I add an arrow widget on the bird so that it tells you how far you are from the next gap since I felt that increasing FOV wouldn't look as good for the immersion. I then added extra touches such as wind trail when falling down, which was a basic Niagara system attached to the wing skeleton. Made me happy, made me smile. Then I tested different velocities on when the trail should appear, and this is the final result. If you enjoyed watching this video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to not miss out on our future projects.